Yesterday, one of Steven Crowder's former employees, Jared Monroe, dropped a statement on Twitter saying that he was being abused by Steven Crowder legally and also whenever he used to work for Steven Crowder over at Louder with Crowder. In this video, we have people like Tim Pool and others reacting to the news that Steven Crowder responded to Jared Monroe with. He actually dropped a lawsuit and the, the whole thing is just getting really, really crazy. It seems like to me, from the outside looking in, obviously I have no inside information. I have heard some things about Steven Crowder from people that know him personally and stuff like that. But it looks like to me, and maybe I'm completely wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm completely wrong. What this looks like to me is a, actually, you know, a targeted attack, possibly orchestrated by Steven Crowder's ex-wife, who obviously doesn't like him very much because it's his ex-wife. I think it's an orchestrated attack. And there's a lot of things, there's a lot of holes that Tim Pool and also other people have poked holes in, you know, legal experts have poked holes in what Jared Monroe was saying about Steven Crowder, you know, and, and about the, the legal quote unquote abuse from Steven Crowder. Anyway, let's get into Tim Pool reacting and kind of breaking down this news that Louder with Crowder files a lawsuit accusing Jared Monroe and Hillary Crowder of extortion scheme. Let's check this out. Yesterday, a video from Jared Monroe, a former employee of Steven Crowder's show and company Louder with Crowder, went public saying he was being legally abused because of a non-disparagement and non-disclosure agreement and needed your help. So far, he's raised $72,000 with some very serious accusations against Steven Crowder. Now, the latest news, Louder with Crowder has filed a lawsuit accusing Jared Monroe and Hillary Crowder of an extortion scheme. And uh, I got to say, it does not look good for Jared and Hillary Crowder, notably just right off the bat. Stephen Crowder's ex-wife claimed that she is in need of work and not doing so well financially. But according to court documents, Stephen Crowder has been ordered to pay her $25,000 per month for the last two years. So something doesn't seem to add up. Now, I don't know what Hillary Crowder, Stephen's ex-wife, uh, how she would respond to those uh, reports. But I do think this is a very interesting story right now, considering, well, Stephen Crowder's trending. And uh, I've dealt with some legal issues uh, in the past. And, uh, you know, this, this is big news in independent media. I'm not one to typically dive into these uh, drama uh, stories, and typically I avoid them uh, because I believe it's infinitely more, more important to talk about things like the bridge collapse or World War III, and those are things I actually care about. But that being said, I can't deny it. I have a personal bias in this that uh, two things. First, my personal bias is I've dealt with legal issues in the past, and I, I really want to understand how this stuff happens because I've had crazy stuff happen to me here at TimCast. I don't know who's right or who's wrong, Stephen Crowder or, or Jared or Hillary Crowder. None of that matters. But... Uh, I feel I feel passionate about subjects like this, and I feel like I have insights which can help inform uh, uh, many people as to what may be going on, though uh, far be it for me to know the truth. Right. You've got warring, warring parties in this one. But I, I do think it's also fair to mention this is potentially shaping the landscape of independent media where we go from here. And Ladder with Crowder, of course, is one of the biggest shows on the Internet and uh, lends lends a lot to the stories like this, to the credibility of individuals who are challenging the establishment. And so. For those reasons, and primarily my personal interest in the story, I give you this segment. Now, the other day we saw this fundraiser, GoFundMe, Monroe Family Legal Fund, free Jared Monroe, currently $72,857 raised. And I want you to also keep in mind, because I know a lot of people, whenever I say things, and, and Tim Pool is also going to say these things about Steven Crowder, because Tim Pool has been through things similar to this, where people are coming at him, there's smear campaigns against Tim Pool and Tim Cast in general. Now, Stephen Crowder is going through this thing. And Stephen Crowder has a lot of enemies in the space now because of what he's gone through in the past with the Daily Wire situation. So obviously, people like Candace Owens, Ben Shapiro, like the entirety of the Daily Wire don't like Stephen Crowder at all. Then you add in the fact that he had a very, very public divorce with his ex-wife. And that was, you know, not good. It was very ugly and it's probably still ongoing. And now he's having to pay $25,000 a month in child support to his ex-wife, to Steven Crowder's ex-wife. So, and to, to prove to you that the Daily Wire still has a vendetta against Steven Crowder and still doesn't like Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro actually donated to this Monroe family legal fund right here, the free Jared Monroe thing that's, you know, trying to fund Jared Monroe's, you know, going against Steven Crowder in, in his legal battle, I guess. Ben Shapiro actually donated to this, and I'm sure other members of the Daily Wire, maybe even Candace Owens donated to this as well. So just to kind of give you an idea of why people would be targeting Steven Crowder. And I'm not just, you know, a big Steven Crowder fan. I haven't watched an episode of Steven Crowder's show in, you know, eight plus months. I only watch it whenever it's, it's something worth making a video on. So I'm not some big, huge Steven Crowder fan. It's just my objective point of view on this seems to be like this is a targeted attack against him. You know, I got to be honest, it really bums me out to see this. Not that Jared shouldn't be allowed to raise money, but that there are many people donating lots of money saying, I did not know Crowder was this bad. You don't know Crowder is bad. 
you don't know that Jared is bad. It's a legal dispute where everyone's got their perspective on it. And it may be that there are two individuals who are actually both good people who are at an impasse and both view themselves as morally right. This is typical. The issue is not that Jared raised money. It's that many people are throwing Crowder under the bus without actually knowing what's happening. And a lot of people are, I, I, I feel like a lot of people are jumping the gun and making assumptions about who they think is right on this one. But let's read the news from SCNR.com. Exclusive. Louder with Crowder files lawsuit accusing Jared Monroe and Hillary Crowder of extortion scheme. I just don't want Steven Crowder anywhere near those kids. Jared Matello, also known as Jared Monroe, said in a text message to Hillary Crowder. Uh, was it a text message or, or an email? Louder with Crowder LLC. LWC has filed a lawsuit against former employee Jared Matello, also known as Jared Monroe or not gay Jared, accusing him of engaging in an extortion scheme with Stephen Crowder's ex-wife, Hillary, and her family. Wait till, wait till you see some of the stuff that was published. Like, apparently someone, I don't know if they threw a potato through his window or something. I, okay. So Matello's raised, well, uh, as of the writing of this article, 66, but it's actually up to 72. <clears throat> Despite the seemingly sudden conflict between him and Crowder, Matello parted ways way back in August of 2018. At the time, he signed an agreement with the company that included a non-disparagement clause. A lot of with Crowder's lawsuit, which only names Matello, Claims that this scheme began in 2022 when Stevens' ex-wife, Hillary Crowder, uh, Hillary Crowder, plotted to extort him for, quote, more money than Texas law would allow in their pending divorce proceedings. According to court filings obtained by SCNR, Stephen has been ordered to pay Hillary $25,000 a month in support for the last two years. However, in a recent social media post seeking employment, she claims she can no longer afford to be a stay-at-home mother. Oh, this is interesting. Hillary Crowder posted, looking for work that is remote with flexibility. I am open to anything, particularly work that allow me to be present at home with the twins. Thank you in advance to anyone that's willing to help me in this pursuit by sharing this post. I look forward to bringing my diligence, hard work, ethic, creativity, and ability to think outside the box into whatever work environment I end up in. I know I may get ripped apart in the comments, given that I am a mom of two small. This is her trying to gain sympathy in my eyes. And I know it might seem like I'm some huge Stephen Crowder fan. Keep trying to defend him. But that's just what this looks like to me. If Stephen Crowder had a court order to pay, pay her $25,000 a month, that is much more than enough and i don't i don't want to brag or anything like i, I swear i'm that's not what i'm trying to do i've made that much money before i make a, a, a decent bit more than that now and coming from someone who has made more than that makes more than that currently you know twenty five thousand dollars a month is enough to live on it is enough most people like 90 percent of the population live on like with their families a lot less than that like less than even 10,000 a month, people can make that work. So in my opinion, this is just a, a play for Hillary Crowder to, to gain some sympathy from the, the Steven Crowder fan base. All children, please be respectful and know that the plan that the plan I uh, the plan was for our children to have a stay at home mom. But unfortunately, I've been put in a position where that is no longer possible. Here's my LinkedIn, the emails to reach me. Now, did you uh, if she's getting twenty five thousand dollars a month? I mean, she can certainly afford to stay home. I don't know where she's living. A lot of Crowder's, uh, Crowder's lawyers allege that in August 2022, Hillary messaged relatives and a lawyer saying it was time this divorce went public and boasted that she held Stephen's reputation in her hands. The legal team claimed Hillary and her family were optimistic that making things public would create social media pressure and optics that would cause Louder with Crowder to force Crowder to settle in the divorce proceedings. Defendants then implemented their full-throated effort to engage in the negative media campaign to damage Louder with Crowder. Those are quotes from the suit, not from SCNR. In an email sent to family members on September 11, 2022, Hillary's father, Tom Corzon, had it detailed the type of team he wants to build up his daughter in the divorce, specifically to destabilize his former son-in-law and father of his grandchildren. They understand right-wing media. They are familiar with who Stephen is and and uh, who is who Stephen is and that world and the things that would destabilize him. So here's uh, appears to be, I believe this is an email or no, this looks like it's a text, perhaps, perhaps a text. <clears throat> it says, I, I believe this is probably obtained through discovery. In legal proceedings. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. My additional comments, the type of team I want, they understand right wing media. They're familiar with who Steven is in that world and things that would destabilize him or will commit to investing the necessary time, thoughts, thoughtful consideration and judgment to become sufficiently familiar with that world in order that they become intellectually and emotionally invested in Hillary's circumstances. They are experts on narcissists and or will read and view selected articles to fully understand the narcissism and the impact on the spouse of a narcissist. They have a personal interest in me and my case and compassion, uh, compassion to my situation. They like my creative ideas and family involvement. They think outside the box and are welcome to the ideas of using the media, Brian Friedman, PR, etc. They also provide their own strategies and ideas that are outside the box. Fully understand and agree that Hillary's goals and expectations for the outcome of this divorce are reasonable and attainable, not necessarily according to Texas family law precedent, but by employing a media, Brian Friedman, and PR strategy that will significantly threaten this public persona and brand. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pause right here. I don't know that Stephen Crowder is an innocent guy. 
This is his side of legal documents. And certainly Jared Monroe has made accusations against him. However, that being said, uh, what's the date on this? 2022 9 11. Here's the dad saying that effectively we want to get more out of this divorce than you would get in family law precedent. And by using a PR strategy to threaten and destabilize Steven Crowder, they could actually win. So I'm going to be honest. I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, bias that that are otherwise. The first thing I'll say about Jared Monroe's post is I said this yesterday. I've been involved in legal proceedings. You cannot do what he did. That's just it's plain. OK. Immediately, I'm like, mm, something doesn't seem right. If you're in, OK, here's 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 the challenge. I'll tell you this personal experience. I've been in several different legal proceedings on the defense and the plaintiff sides of things. And uh, when you're involved in, in legal issues, and, and, and we know this is true with the likes of you know, James O'Keefe talks about this. You can't say anything. You can't. Carl Benjamin filed a law uh, was sued. This also just looks absolutely horrible, like coming from the side of Jerry Monroe and, you know, Stephen Crowder's ex-wife, Hillary Crowder. This looks horrible. And I guess we'll maybe we'll see things come out from Jerry Monroe's side as well. I mean, that would be if, if he's telling the truth in his best interest. So I'm sure we'll see some negative things. He said in his video that he posted on Twitter that he had the receipts of all these things that he's claiming Stephen Crowder did. So I would like to see that, you know, both sides so I can actually know, like, what the hell is going on? Because I keep hearing all these horrible things about Stephen Crowder from all these different people, and I don't see any receipts. Like, the dude might be, like, you know, a jerk sometimes, for sure. Like, I could see that, you know, just in his humor and the way he acts on a show. I'm sure sometimes when you're working for someone like Stephen Crowder, there's some times you're like, man, this guy's a real, like, jerk. He's a real asshole. Like, I, as far as, like, the, the, the sexual, you know, abuse and stuff like that that Jerry Monroe is claiming, I want to see you know, receipts of that and not necessarily like video footage or anything. But if he has receipts of it, then let's see him, you know, so I can really just know whether or not Steven Crowder is a bad guy. We're seeing so much accusations against him. Somebody just show some kind of receipts. The only form of receipts that we've seen is the ring footage between Steven Crowder and his ex-wife. And, you know, as Gerald said on, on Louder with Crowder this morning, all the other ring footage outside of that one or those couple of clips that were shown was deleted by Hillary Crowder because she didn't want us to see the rest of them. And it's like, I would have liked to see what Steven Crowder presented on his side of the ring footage. And instead, we only got to see one side of it and it got leaked to the public, you know, for everyone to see. So I want to see some receipts against Steven Crowder. But so far, this isn't looking too good for the other side. To me, it seems like, and Tim Pool shares the same thing. He said this yesterday. It's exactly what, like, I, I see so many people going after Steven Crowder most people are on Jerry Monroe's side, it seems. Personally, I'm just like, let's wait and see. And what it looks like to me is that Jerry Monroe, either number one, is too naive to understand what he's doing. Number two, he's being paid or pushed, manipulated in a direction by Hillary Crowder, Stephen Crowder's ex-wife, or possibly Hillary Crowder's dad, who seems like he might be orchestrating the whole thing. Um, but yeah, dude, all these documents that are coming out from Stephen Crowder's side of the lawsuit, it's not making, you know, Hillary Crowder and Jeremy Rose side look too good. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking so far of the Stephen Crowder situation. Do you think that Stephen Crowder is, is guilty? Do you think he's a bad guy? Or do you think he's a victim of some kind of extortion scheme? To me, I mean, so far what we've seen, it seems like he is a victim of an extortion scheme. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about the Stephen Crowder, Louder with Crowder situation. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.